everyone. I'm currently making a fall sign that is going to have two pumpkins sitting in a little rustic wagon. And I would like to buffalo check both of them. So I'm going to share how to do that step with you. Already painted one pumpkin, so I'm going to be stenciling the next one in a white. So I'd like to share that step with you. First, I will load the stencil brush with paint, then offload most of it until I create a dry to the touch stencil brush, and then I know it's ready for stenciling. I desire somewhat of a transparent look so I can see some of the wood grain shining through. So as you can see, I'm just going over really dry. See how dry it's looking? It's just about like a whitewash. Add a little more paint. When you first add paint, it's a little heavier at first. So just keep dragging until it's dry. Blend it all in and keep going. The first coat ended up turning out a little bit too light, so I just went over it again before removing the stencil. And you'll find with these lines, you know, they can be a little flimsy, so when you reach them, I like to walk my fingers on the line so they don't move on you as you stencil. So both pumpkins are now complete, and I'll give you a peek on what that looks like looking good but now I'm going to leave this in place because I would like to buffalo check it next and how you do that is you leave the original stencil in place then you place the pattern on top tape it into position and go ahead and stencil I have a bit of a method when I stencil with buffalo check because of its high amount of detail I will first stencil in the open squares first then once the brush has dried out a little bit more I'll swipe in the direction of the little lines it's also a really good idea to masking tape over the images you don't want to add buffalo check to because when you're layering two stencils on top of each other, it can get a little bit confusing. And now for the fun part. Let's see what masterpiece has been created. Absolutely adorable. And I'm going to do the opposite colors on the white pumpkin. Thank you. 